It's one deadlift. Motherfucking deadlift technique, bro. Yeah. I mean, honestly, what's going on, guys? Bradley Martin here. Blah, 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 blah. Seriously, uh, this video uh, is probably gonna be like one of my favorite videos because I love the deadlift so much. It's just so connected to my soul. Um, it's like a part of me, actually. It's really a part of me. And it's in it there. is. Yeah, in, it's in there. Like, why was my soul here? Why is it here? Why is it not here? There. It's on that titty. So, anyways, um, the deadlift is by far my favorite. Exercise, I'll be frank. Like if I had to pick one exercise for the rest of my life that I had to do, uh, it would be bicep curls. What about the deadlift? I mean, it's my favorite exercise, but let's not get fucking carried away, bro. I mean, guys, seriously. Big arms, curls for the girls, tries for the uh, girls. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, I love, fucking love the deadlift. So, it's a deadlift tutorial. Um, I, I'm gonna like try to go in depth, but not in crazy depth because you guys are like, shut the fuck up and stop talking. So I'm just, you know what? I'm just gonna start pantomiming shit. Um, you guys are gonna have to figure it out because you're like, don't talk. But anyways, no, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys. The deadlift is by far, let me just preface it, by far the most, in my opinion, one of the most useful exercises in building strength, muscle, uh, fucking everything, okay? So learn to do the deadlift properly if you want to see results like until you're 130, all right? Because in the future, you kids are probably going to be 130. Um, I'm going to be 300 because I'm already 100. But the deadlift is super important. Okay, I'm going to give you some key points. And I will go into another video like this in the future again. Just because it's like it's never going to not be relevant and not important. So for the deadlift, a few things to always think about. Setting up, number one, okay? You want to think about feet being flat, okay? When you're grabbing the bar, you want the bar to kind of like sit in the middle of your shoe. So wherever your shoes are, you should feel like it's like cutting your foot in half when you look down at your feet on the floor, right? Yeah, like that. It's like a POV. This is my me like POV porn, bro. This would be good. That'd make my dick probably look extra big because of like the view, you know? Anyways, <laughs> uh, but no, it's like the lowering or the side angle. Anyways, I don't know. It's crazy what they do. But uh, so, <laughs> so, yo, can you film and stop laughing, bro? This is real serious shit. All right, so look, and we've all seen porn, let's be honest, okay? We know what's going on. Okay, so cut the foot in half, right? So when you look it down, cut the foot in half, you're the bar. And another thing to think about is when you go down to pick up the bar, you want to think about like loading the back to the, like the middle to the back of your foot. So when I'm going down to pick up the bar, like my, my feet aren't here, my, my, my weight isn't on my toes. So I'm not like this going down. I'm like planted in the middle of my foot. And as I'm coming down, I'm kind of loading my heel a little bit. And everybody will have their own kind of way to get comfortable in the bottom before they pull. But my best advice is develop something in which you, it, it stays consistent and it almost becomes like a habit. So every time it's like the same and you, you'll develop that consistent habit to do it the right way. So some things to think about to do it the right way, right? You want your chest up, okay? You don't want that rounded like, I mean your upper back can be slightly rounded, but you don't want your lower back to be rounded. So it's real important. You don't look like, you don't look like this when you're deadlifting. You don't want to pull from here. No cats. Yeah. yeah, no cats and then like that shit, all right? If your friends are doing that shit in the gym, be like, bro, listen, stop. Go watch Bradley's fucking YouTube video. Don't do that shit. You're going to hurt yourself, okay? Because you are going to fucking hurt yourself over time. Like if you keep getting strong, you're going to get to a point where you're going to pull amount of weight that's just going to be like, fuck my back. And then you're going to be like, my back hurts. And then you're going to be the old guy who's like 40. He'll be like, yeah, I don't deal with it anymore because it hurts your back and it's bad for you. And I used to do that when I was your age. I hate those guys. I, you, don't, you don't have to be that dude because look, what happened was those guys just did it wrong for too long and then it broke their fucking back somehow or ruined it or tweaked it and they don't do deadlifts because it hurts them. But if you learn to do it properly, you're not going to hurt yourself, okay? So that's what this fucking video is about. Now, chest up, right? Okay? Keep the weight on your heels, middle to, like, however you're comfortable, middle to your heels, okay? So when you're grabbing the bar, there's another really important thing to think about before you pull. Before you pull straight up, right? Straight up and back, all right? You want to be all the way taut. So you know, taut means like, taut is like a... Uh, that's a weird word, but taut is like, so if you have a rope, right, say if your arms are ropes, right, you, do, you say this is the bar, and he's grabbing onto the bar, you don't want to be like this before you pull, and then pull, right? You want to be all the way like here, all right, so I'll show you, I'll show you right here. You want to be, all right, say my hands are on the bar. You don't want to start to pull like this, all right? You see this shit, all right? You want to start to pull like you're locked in, arms are long, and then you're all the way, like, all the way long before you pull, right? So you should be all the, all the, uh, Slack. slack 
should be good. Yeah, you get same time. I got it first though. Fuck you. All the slack should be out of your arms. It should be out of your body. So you should be like just ready to pull the bar. Like the bar should be like ready to be pulled off the ground right before you pull. You shouldn't like go into like a like a gorilla like and then pull up because that like over time, like I said, as the weight gets heavier, if you keep doing that, keep doing that, more than likely you're gonna get to a point where the weight's too heavy. You're gonna go and you're gonna pop some shit and your back's gonna hurt and then you're gonna be the guy who's 40 and like I said blah 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 you know the rest so make sure the slack is all the way taken out so you're, you're nice and taut arms are long and another thing to think about arms should be like ropes they should be like ropes okay it shouldn't be like uh, again not, like not untied it should be with ropes uh, and grab the bar nice and tight if you have straps it's fine if you want to do a mixed grip that's fine whatever you do you're not lifting with your arms you're lifting with your hips and you're lifting your chest straight up. So what it's gonna do is your arms are like ropes and you're just gonna be thinking about keeping your chest up, right? Grabbing the bar nice and tight, shift the weight back to the heel and think about just basically like going to push your hips forward. I'm, I'm squeezing and I'm pushing the floor away through my heels. My arms are just like ropes. And all I'm thinking about is pushing my hips forward through my heels, squeezing my glutes, standing straight up, right? The whole time, whenever you get to the top two guys, remember, when you get up to the finish, you want to think about squeezing your glutes nice and tight. You're not just up here like this, relaxed. Because that's going to put pressure on your lower back. Your glutes are what are going to protect your lower back. So your, your glutes are super, super important in this movement. Hip activation, hip activation, hip activation. You want to think about squeezing your glutes nice and hard as you're pressing down through the force. You almost feel like you're just like, like fucking like the Hulk or like fucking Thor. Like, like a fucking grab. I don't know, bro. I kind of don't have anything on this one. Do you have anything? No, but what about the new Star Wars movie? I know, that fucking movie, bro? Yeah. Uh, fuck, dude, that, that shit looks crazy. Which, the, the Rogue one, right? Yeah. I was telling you about that shit. When I saw the trailer, I was like, yo, this has to be the new one, but I was like, it's too soon. So they flipped in there, like, the fucking, this new movie's coming out, man. And I was like, bro, what the fuck is going on in, in my life? And I didn't know this was happening. So apparently doing like spin-offs of fucking Star Wars, but it's dope because it's still the same guys who did the other, like the real movies. I mean, like the good ones, like the last one they did. So they're all going to be dope. So anyways, shout out to George Lucas. He don't even need the shout out, but I'm giving it to him anyways because I'm such a fucking fan. And that kid has never seen Star Wars. That kid hasn't seen Star Wars. I might now. Yo, explain yourself, bro. I've never seen Star Wars. Oh my God. Hey, yo, yo. Hey, look, 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 look. All right. Give this video a thumbs up if you think Star Wars is one of the dopest movies all time, of all time, because we're gonna show him that he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing with his life because he hasn't seen a single one, right? I still love you, but he hasn't seen a single one. Look at him, look at him, look at his face. Zoom in on his face. <laughs> he hasn't seen a single one. What's going on? All oh, right, all right, hell yeah. Hell yeah, I'm gonna finish this up real quick. Um, anyways, okay, so the deadlift guys, besides Star Wars, dope, it's epic. You know, he's a loser, but he's not because he's my friend. But he still has these hours, so he's kind of a loser. But we'll let it slide for now. Um, the deadlift is what we're talking about, okay? Can we get back on track, bro? I think we're done. We're done? Yeah. We'll do more in another video. Yeah. I love you guys. I'm out. Uh, make sure you fucking subscribe. Dodge. Dodge. Wait, what's the sound I make? Can you add that in in the post? Wait, wait. Can you, I'm yeah. bro, can you just give me a lightsaber? I, I got you. You don't even know how to do that. No, no I got the gun. I did the gun. No, 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 no. Do the gun. You have the gun sound? I got it. Alright, Bo. You got the gun. You better put it in because I can't do shit with my mouth. Oh. It's it stupid, bro. Go. What am I shooting at though? Do recoil. Shoot at me. 